Hi friends, how are you? Welcome back to another unboxing video. So this is my second order from Atlas Stationer in the month of November, to no surprise to anyone, I guess. This is my birthday uh, haul. Uh, Atlas Stationer sends you a birthday coupon uh, for your birthday, right? So you would have to register the month and the day of your birthday in order for them to send you that coupon. Um, you do have to create an account, uh, but in reality, you already created an account if you placed an order because it asked you for an email. Anyway, so um, they sent me my birthday coupon for October. It took me a long while to figure out what I wanted, especially because we crossed Fountain Pen Day and I got a lot of the things that I wanted then. So I placed a small order and what I got was mainly a planner and ink and something else. I can't remember the third thing. Uh, but let me show you what I got and we'll review it together. Okay, so as always, I open it upside down because of my information. And we'll take all the packaging off. And yeah, so let's do it this way. Let's do this. And here we have the journaling card or the Atlas card. It says Brilliant Choice. Mama T, which is Therese. So we're gonna put that here. And um, I got uh, ink that I think would match one of the pens that I just got. And I got it mainly because of that. It's a Robert Oster uh, Polar Vortex uh, ink. It is an Atlas exclusive. And if you follow the Coffee Monsters Co, she confirmed that I needed this because she went to Chicago, went to Atlas, and of course uh, made some purchases for herself, but among those purchases was this ink. I wasn't sure that I wanted it, that's why I didn't add it to my, um, to my order for Fountain Pen Day, but when I saw that and I saw her using it, I was like, yeah, I need to get that. And I actually think that this is the ink color that will, um, look good with my narwhal trumpso pen which is one of my dream pens kind of thing so um yeah so i got that one it's like a gray blue and i don't remember if it's a shimmery in ink i want to say it's not but it might be let me see it is not i don't think it is but anyways i'll add a swatch somewhere in the screen for you to take a look at that and then she wants to roll away. Okay, and then the next thing, um, I ordered something new to me, uh, two brands that are new to me all together. One is a Japanese uh, brand, which is Cleed. Cleed is a planner, and essentially, I got this planner because I am going back to basics or how I used to do my budgeting and this is just a simple planner for what I need it for. Um, it's actually really nice. It has gilded edges which I think are awesome and then it has metal uh, corner covers. I like it. The cover is like plastic. It's nothing like too ostentatious. And then this is the inside. You can totally use this little pocket for other things or decorate it however you like. And it gives me Hobonichi vibes because it has it here, the, like the brand. And then here's the Perpetual for $24.25. And why don't I put it down and bring you closer. So now that I bought you closer, let's take a look. Uh, it does have a cute little pocket here. Well, my nails. And you can do one of those plastic pockets if you want, like the sticker kind. And then it has the brand name here. And what I like about this is that it goes into March of 2025. And you can cover it. It gives you very Hobonichi vibes since they do the same thing. Here are the yearly, yearly, here are the yearly calendars. I think these are perfect size too. They're not too big, they're not too small. And then there's the perpetual for 2024 and 2025. And here's the monthly. I like this a lot. It's grid paper and it looks like the paper is cream color even though 
I made sure that I picked white, like the outside cover uh, color supposed to be white paper, but it still looks kind of creamy to me. It looks like Midori paper to me. And just like Kobonichi, it gives you red for Sunday. It makes me laugh when I say that because my cousin hates that Hobonichi does that. So it made me laugh because I remember that. So here's all the calendars. It goes, like I said, December 2024, January, February, and March. And then you have grid, small grid uh, notes. You have about 60 of them. Yeah, I wanna say 50, 60. And it's just grid. So I usually, how I used to do my budget, I would just do budget by paycheck situation. I would just write down uh, my paycheck and then just that do the distribution for that paycheck and then paycheck two and the distribution for that. So I'm gonna go back to that. So I think this is plenty for what I need it for. If any, if I wanna add a cute little sticker here and there, I can. And then it has a pen loop and it has uh, the pocket you can use. Again, you can add, um, those pocket plastic pockets a very simple planner uh i didn't want anything more um elaborate or having a whole budget planner like i've tried to do the um what are they called happy planner ones i've tried it with an erin condren a monthly and they're too big right and this is a b6 so i think this is good enough i don't need nothing big i'm trying to see if it's indeed a b6 if it says that yeah, it's a B6. So I think that's perfect. A little bit, uh, slightly smaller than an A5. And then the last thing that I got, I mainly got out of peer pressure because uh, the Atlas Discord, if you have not joined, is lit. It's a really good Discord channel. And if you wanna join, I'll leave you the invitation link below. Um, somebody told me that I should really try the Clairefontaine paper for swatching inks. It's like a little pocket one in comparison. Look how cute this is. So it's a very tiny haul from Atlas that I got and I'm happy with what I got. This is what I got for my birthday coupon, you guys. <laughs> So this was a very inexpensive haul for me in comparison to others uh, because the coupon that we got from Atlas is very generous for your birthday. So my auto pocket wasn't so much, um, but I love it all. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day wherever you are and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.